In this video, we take a look at what is known as penetration testing. Now, before we actually discuss penetration testing, we're going to take a step back and consider what actually is a hacker. Well, you probably have a fairly good idea already. They are people who try to gain access to a system with the intent to do harm, cause damage or otherwise frustrate. What you may not realise, however, is there are several categories of hackers, white hat, grey hat and black hat hackers. Now, although you won't be tested on these specific terms in the exams, it's useful to understand the difference to get some context for what we're about to talk about. So a black hat hacker is the one that you probably typically associate with hacking. It's the one often portrayed in the media and in films. These are people who attempt to gain access via nefarious means, possibly to steal company secrets or to cause damage to data. White hat hackers are the other end of the spectrum. These are security experts. They're sometimes ex-hackers, but they've actually been employed by a company. Their sole purpose is to use their expertise to find and then fix vulnerabilities in their own company's software. And finally, there are grey hat hackers that sit somewhere in the middle. These are not officially employed by a company, but they still enjoy trying to find flaws in company systems. What they're doing is technically illegal, they are hacking, but they tend to have a moral code and they typically inform the company of the flaw so they can fix it. So let's now refocus on the topic of this video, penetration testing. This is attempting to gain access to resources without knowledge of username, passwords and other normal means of access. It's a form of testing that's designed to check how hackable, in a sense, your software is. To try and simulate the results of a hacker in order to find the bugs and fix them before releasing software. There are two types of penetration testing. The first is called white box. This is testing which tries to simulate a malicious insider someone who works internally for the company, somebody who has knowledge of basic creden credentials and login information for the system being targeted. It says, if someone was working inside our company with malicious intent and they knew something about our software, what could potentially they do? What damage could they cause? What flaws could they exploit? The second category is called black box penetration testing. This simulates an external hacking attempt to an organisation or company. And this typically simulates the type of hacking that you think about from the media, films and television. <laughs> 